And welcome back, everybody, to the Sim City 4 Let's Play. And that's what I want to do. Oh, yeah. Last time, we uh, ramped up the uh, zoning so that we could get some apartment complexes and get some more population in here to increase tax revenue. Got a good demand for uh, homes and business right now. We're going to get rid of this agricultural demand right now. To do that, all we have to do is raise the taxes, and nobody will want farms. Now, I'm going to start the episode right off by letting you guys know about something a little interesting. SimCity 5, something that has been in the back of our minds for the last nine years. Now, they're just calling it SimCity, but it's the fifth version of the actual SimCity by Maxis. Two months ago, almost to the day, March 6, 2012, EA released a trailer and a lot of information regarding the newest title in the SimCity franchise. And I've got two links in the description downstairs that you can check out. The uh, <clears throat> new SimCity is scheduled for next year sometime. And <clears throat> you get a trailer video. Uh, I've got the direct link for that and SimCity.com where you can check out all the information. And I have got to tell you right now, it is sweet! As to be expected. I think they're calling it the glass box engine or something like that to make it full 3D. Everything is simulated. It's just going to be absolutely fantastic. And I'm excited. And the coolest part about the trailer is the outro. It's just really neat. It's a simple thing that they did, but I just I watch it over and over. So that out of the way, we are picking right up where we left off. And the idea here is to see now no farms. <laughs> that was easy. Anyway, got some residential demand. So I'm going to expand along the coastline here and when I do that it's going to shift the uh, job market so I'm going to put some industrials right over here I also recorded this in a little higher resolution so uh, the 480 looks good but that aside let's go ahead and build some roads out here and I've got these in uh, six by fours right now I'm going to mirror that cadence on this side as well uh, yeah. <clears throat> you guys might have been wondering what I've been doing lately because there haven't been uh, videos in a little while. And truth be told, I actually was on vacation. See, my good friend Corey just got out of the Marine Corps. He's been in the Corps for the last 12 years. And anyone who knows their geography or is a citizen of America. United States namely <clears throat> whoops <clears throat> wrong button anyway they know that uh, there is a little state called North Carolina it's actually not little at all but um, it's a 10-hour drive from where we live and he has an apartment down there or he had one where he was living the last two years of those 12 and we went down there it was originally a three-day trip we're gonna go down there drive the ten hours clean out the apartment and bring back whatever stuff he wanted and then come back here and move it all up reason being is he's got a nice hefty security deposit that he would get if the apartment passed its inspection which I'm sure it did because we did a fantastic job of cleaning it up there is not one thing left in that place except I think for a peppermint scented hand soap for the sink but other than that it's clean and it was supposed to be three days we left on a Monday <clears throat> drove down there and let me tell you 10 hours by car that is a hike but we did it and then 10 hours back but it was good to just get out and and see something else for a change and uh, we had a lot of fun and it turned into a five and a half day excursion uh, we had a lot of fun had some laughs and just had a great time <clears throat> watched movies 
you know, had a couple of drinks here and there, because he likes to drink. I'm half Irish, I don't really go for the whole drinking thing, but it was fun. So yeah, that's what I was doing. However, since I've been back, uh, I've uh, realized that taking that trip really set me on the path of motivation. I mean, I am so pumped about making videos and just making my way in this world that I came back here with a clear mind. And, you know, sometimes that's all you need to do is just, you know, kick back a little bit and uh, relax. And then when you come back, you're refreshed, you know, you've got a new mindset, everything is good. And you're ready to just, you know, come out with guns blazing. Yeah, and this song is called Epicenter that's playing in the background. So that's what I was doing. So now we're doing this. And I'm going right into the high uh, density zoning here because I want to get started on this high tech industry business. Really got to get that going now because right now I have. Let's see, I'll uncheck all of this shniznaz. Let's see what happens. I don't think I have any yet, but you never know. Oh, I had some. I had 25. Now I have none. They all converted. But that's okay. We're going to fix that. And part of that is making a green city. I'm going to change the format from this grid system pretty soon, but this is just the starting city to get me a base income. So you can start up your SimCity and play along or just enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go a little longer with these, I think. I think I'm going to make them 20-minute videos now since I have a fantastic Internet connection. And I can do that. <clears throat> Look at them all building up. I don't think they have water, though. We're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> They're still building houses like ah, we don't need water. What what water? No. We don't need that. <laughs> so funny. So we'll just set all these up and connect that to there. How's my pollution by the way? Water pollution. Uh it's a little bit here, but I think I have the income to no oh, not yet. Not quite yet. Soon I'll have the income to do a treatment plant, but I do have enough uh, income versus expenses to uh, put another small school down because these guys don't have any education and kind of need that. So I'll throw that down. <clears throat> wow, big boost in income right there. We'll throw that down. They also need uh, fire coverage up here so that these factories don't catch on fire. That's kind of important. And we want to keep the crime down. So I'll put another small police station right there. Cr destroy that factory. And I think I'll put another medical clinic out here because that will uh, seal the deal. And I'll put it right here. That's no, no, no. I'm going to put it here because I want to leave that open for a bus station. So medical clinic goes there because that covers the residential part of this. And I'm overspending right now, but you watch. In a couple of seconds, it's going to explode. And I'll be making money again. And there's some high-tech industry right there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so we let this run a little bit. And, all right, closing the gap on the money. Now it's easier to see because I uh, am recording properly. Oh, look at this. Nice big apartment building. That's going to add about 500, I think. Oh, 1,609. Oh, yeah. So now that just evened out the income right away. Boom. And of course, that was that did it for the houses. So let's see where the uh, high wealth commercial office wants to be, because I'm all about that. Let's go with this one. All right, it looks like right here, but that's by the industries. I want to build these. Let's see, how about the commercial services? Pretty much anywhere. All right, so while this this train is running, let's go ahead and build just a little bit some uh, offices and such make a little commercial district just a 4x4 four four should be fine and they're beachfront too so I might be able to get some high wealth banks and such and so forth you never know <clears throat> but we'll see so let's get rid of this road piece of road here and throw down the high density offices oh yeah you can tell too of course they might make car dealerships and movie theaters but you know, that's the way it goes. And I'll make sure that that has water. And it does. Sweet. So let's see how that does. 
boom. Yep, they all turned into flea markets. <laughs> but you see what that did for the housing district. It exploded. Which makes me wonder how my services are doing here. Oh, the school sucks. Gotta increase the funding on that. You usually have to when you when you have more money when you're making more money than you're uh, spending. It usually means that your uh, services, your civil services, are underfunded. <clears throat> yeah, see the hospital's maxed out too, so we gotta bring that up. And I'm still uh, within the budget. And the fire station is okay, of course. Now, one of the things that's going to happen, because I looked down at my ticket here, is let's talk turkey by talking trash, okay? And that means that the garbage is already starting to pile up. And you can tell by a little graph here, when I look at garbage, we have a steady increase. It's up to about 10,000 tons. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. <clears throat> so, one of the things we can do is build a landfill. But I think I'm going to do some region play and exploit the trash glitch. So to do that, we got to save and exit to the region. And it'll happen very fast because this is a good processor. Oh my gosh, the indigestion. <clears throat> I don't know. See, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember building any, building any neighbor connections. But we'll see. <clears throat> play a little god mode on this. Gonna reconcile the edges. There's the river there, so I'll just uh, I'll keep that going here and kind of run this river through here. There we go, perfect. I think. Yeah, when I reconcile the edges, I didn't get any neighbor connections, so I'm gonna have to go back to the region real quick. Go back in here, and you see how nicely that that connects. So we gotta go down here, and I'm just gonna build little road right here that will connect. This will also help the uh, the industry because all these houses are junk. I'm probably going to convert that to uh, to industry in the future. But I've got that neighbor connection. It links to the map below it. But uh, the other thing that I have to do, let me zoom all the way out. I think that small map was right around here. So uh, since I have the cache, I'm going to go ahead and attempt. Oh, that's too far. I can't see the cursor. I'm going to attempt to build this bridge. Uh, it's saying it can't do it now. Alright, well, let's try over here. Nope, still nothing. I remember this one said it might. Nope, 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 nope. How about here? No, I'm not getting nothing out of this. Interesting. I wonder why. <clears throat> let's see if we can't, uh. Can't. Uh, try to put this here. There we go. That's what we want. All right, so I'm just going to take this bridge, connect it right over here, and connect that to the neighbor also. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to connect uh, this city in between the medium-sized map and the tiny one. And to do that, I have to build a neighbor connection, obviously. There we go. So it's right about here, just to be on the safe side. It doesn't matter in this map how far away that road is. Obviously, I'm going to be developing all of this. This is going to be a gigantic metropolis. I think this is where the majority of the uh, population is going to come from. And this is the one I'm going to use to make uh, the uh, really nice high-tech industry sector. It's going to be a big chunk. This over here will be uh, more commercialized. And then this is just going to be a pain. So, that having been said, let's go back to the region. We get the region play done now, and that'll really help down the road. Because then I can just tweak numbers. Yeah, I think that connected up pretty well. Let's just check that out. <coughs> Sorry, I still got the fleegum. Yep, yeah, there it is. Almost missed it. Uh, reconcile. Everything is good. So I'm just going to keep this, this map flat. And go into mayor mode. And this, like the last series, is going to be Trash Town. Or Trashton. <laughs> which is pronounced trash town. We're going to make it on easy. Start the city up. And then I just make my road system all the way around. I don't want to connect this to the medium sized map though because that would ruin the fun. And I'm going to do this right this time, the first time. Because it can get a little tricky but it's a great maneuver. And yeah, so let's zoom in on this. I want to delete. I don't know if this is going to ruin this. 
Nope, it's good. Yeah, you gotta keep that little arrow there, keep the connection in. And the background music that's playing right now, FYI, is a song that I used in a video I made with Line Rider that I called Oxygen 2. Or no, Inversion, that's what it was. I did an interesting thing with some, uh, some uh, blackening of the background in Line Rider and called it Inversion. It's pretty cool. Okay, next thing we gotta do, loans. A lot of loans because this is not gonna be cheap. I think three should do it. But, uh, yeah, this is super expensive. <clears throat> or no, you know what? I'm going to take out five loans because I want to show you guys the loan glitch, which unfortunately doesn't actually work, but it, it's pretty funny. If you take out um, five loans, see this? There's only four bars or four lines to fit these loans on. So when you take out the fifth one, you get a scroll bar right here on the right-hand side. And for some reason, I don't know what, what happened with the, uh, the programming of this, but you have this scroll bar. Now, when I boost this sixth loan all the way up, there's a cap on each one. It stops at 200 grand because the borrowing limit total is 2 million. But if I click this scroll bar to go down, I can then click this and increase this amount <laughs> up to I think the maximum so right now I think the max is a million since I already borrowed a million and it just keeps going now I thought oh man this is gonna be awesome right but when you accept the new loan it doesn't take so who knows if they just said you know what we can't fix this we're just gonna put a stop on it that if the limit is over 200,000 it doesn't work at all but I think that's pretty hilarious so now that we have gargantuan amounts of money <laughs> Let's go ahead and build the uh, little village that's going to fuel this sector. Just a little place. I don't want to create a connection there. Don't need to. Just one road is fine. And we're going to go green. Wind power this biznitch. Maybe two. Because I don't care what the, the expenses are in this town. We just visit it and make pit stops so we can collect trash. So, I'll build myself a little housing area here put that there some commercialization and some factories here we go it's already people are starting to move in so we'll get a population going that's why you have to do this here we go 32 residents and what's interesting is you think how could the game like is it really exactly how many residents there are and if you look at, just on a sidebar here, if you look at these, I got five in this house, six in that house, that's 11, five there, that's 16, I got six in there, that's 22, five in there is 27, and five in there is 32, and that's exactly what it says. So the houses, the, the population in each individual house or apartment or high rise, whatever, is actually accurate to the number for your actual population. So that's a great way to say, wow, yeah, the game really figures it out. That's also why some uh, big high-rises that have like 6,000 residents, you'll then have, uh, you know, the job market might not be so good, so it cuts it in half, and that's why the population goes crazy. See, somebody already moved out. I wonder which one it is. Who knows? But we're not there to do that. We're there to build landfill. That's just what I want to live next to is a gigantic landfill. And, you know, I actually didn't need this much money to do this. I could have done it on the initial 500 grand. That might be too big. Yeah, it's too big. But you take out all that money so that when you have to go to this map for whatever reason for your maintenance um, of the deals, you want to make sure that your your uh, money is in fact in the green because if this town goes negative, uh, the deal is canceled and we don't want that. I can I bet you I can already buy from the other town. Yep, there it is. So now I'm purchasing trash from my main city, which is generating some income, not that I need it. <clears throat> but if I run this for a few seconds, you're going to see that trash start to pile up. There it is. So, let's see if I can grab any more from these guys. Neighbor deals. Nope, that's it. 258 is it right now. So we're done here we can go back to the region now it's time to develop this medium-sized map and get 
a lot of garbage. I can actually connect all the different cities in this region to my main town and funnel it through the trash town. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave this as it is. We're going to call this Helperton. Helperton is the first installment of the trash deal that's going to keep our numbers in the in the green. And the reason I do this when I'm playing on any difficulty besides easy is because it really is hard to balance your budget and since the deals are legitimate I don't feel as though I'm I'm cheating the system it's just a matter of you know we'll, we'll say it's it's an ethical thing but at the same time it's a game and I have no problem showing you a cool trick that'll help you in your game down the road speaking of roads the avenue fits evenly between these two so I'm gonna put it there. <clears throat> Why not? There we go. And let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do this this way. Yeah. I'm just gonna do six by fours all the way up. Technically, now now that I think about it, I'm gonna get rid of this because I want to do something a little different, a little foreshadowing, if you will, for the future of the game. Alright, so what we have to do, and I'm probably going to need loans for this one too, but as you can see the demands, well, agriculture is up. We're going to fix that right now. Texas, no farms. I don't build those kind of cities. And as soon as the month rolls over, boy, no farms. <laughs> but this city is in demand of everything right now. So what I want to do first <clears throat> is take my civic tools I'm gonna build a nice big pretty station. I wanna make sure this covers this whole oh wow. That does cover a lot. So we'll put this right here. Gonna need fire protection. We'll build a big fire station for that. Let's see if I can get it to turn. Is it only one wide? Yeah. I have to put this here. There we go. We wanna build a big school, because I'm gonna build a lot of houses. So <coughs> that means we're gonna put down a high school. And we're going to put down an elementary school. And that way we've got uh, good coverage for that. And of course, hospitals. I'll put the hospital away from the school. Just because it seems like it would make more sense in a real city planning situation. Oh yeah. Now that I think about it, maybe we'll go a half hour with these. You like half hour videos, don't you? What do you mean, no? <laughs> Well, I do. Now that I've got the internet for it, they upload a lot faster. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but YouTube did something recently. You don't even have to be a partner to get this. But they changed their uploader again. It was already working, but they changed it to look a little nicer. And uh, I'm going to pause this for this. They also did something that is extremely useful to somebody like me who makes tons and tons of videos. And what they did was they put a little option in the uploader that allows you to schedule videos for release you know some people make videos and they just upload them and that's it they don't even edit and that's fine you can do that YouTube doesn't mind neither do I but it takes longer because the files usually a couple of gigabytes so editing really helps you bring that down but regardless uh, I'm gonna put that, leave that road there, cause I'm gonna build out from this and build another high-rise area. You wait and see how tall these buildings get. It's gonna be crazy. These civic buildings aren't gonna be enough. But anyway, the uploader had a l has a little option that lets you privatize a video, which you could already do, but it lets you schedule that video to be released on whatever date you want. And I'm thinking to myself, holy nuggets, Batman! That is awesome. Cause what that means is that I can upload an entire Wheel of Fun series all at one time and have it time release as the weeks go by. Which means I don't have to sit there every day and get confused about what videos are where. All I have to do is sit them in the playlist, update the website, and the channel runs itself. It's, it's awesome. So props to YouTube, really, for doing that because that was just, that was great. And I just realized that I didn't need this avenue. It was five each way.
But whatever, the avenue's gonna come in real handy, or really handy for you grammar Nazis out there. Because uh, I'm gonna need that extra volume in the road for the traffic that I'm about to experience. That's why I paused it. Technically, it doesn't matter because I don't have a power source, but yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it this way, because this is three more. I can do this like this, and then just kind of cut this across to here. That works. Then these guys may have built a something there. But uh, I do like this style of building where you make these really long stretches of road. Because um, traffic is, is uh, kind of bugged the way it is, even with rush hour, and it doesn't really matter. But what I'm doing right now, this is going to explode. And that's what we want. I want my, my city here to just blow up. Not literally. We'll save that for a finale or something. <laughs> But yeah, I want the city to just explode with activity so that I get a lot of trash really fast. Because, of course, that means we're going to make a lot of money in uh, the main city. So let's level this off just enough so I can get some houses out here. The beachfront high rises. You wait and see, man. It's going to be fantastic. We'll go as far as we can with this and then bring it back through. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be amazing. Now that I've got these built, I can focus on the jobs. High density industrial, boo shakalaya. Just all the way up with this, because for some reason the residents really like. Oh no, wait, I don't want to put those there. Am I dumb? Dumb. <laughs> I am gonna cut this road all the way through though, because if I put too many industrial zones like that in a row, the commute time will be really long to get to them. But like I said, that's what this avenue is for. <clears throat> what we want to put in this little strip of of uh, two wide land is parkland after parkland after parkland, just park greens all the way down. This is gonna make our our city truly green, and is gonna get us a lot of high tech jobs, which means a lot of uh, wealthy residents, big commercial high-rise businesses, and a lot of garbage. Not from the industries so much, but the people. When you have a high population like that, you're gonna make trash. I mean, you know, ah crap. If you ever visit a big city like New York or, or Seattle, Washington, you know, places like that, there's these huge buildings, and there's tons and tons of people living in them. I mean, what's the population in New York City? Like 13 million or some ridiculous number like that? That's almost half the population of the state of Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is like seven times the size of New York. It's ridiculous. So they're going to produce a lot of garbage, and it's got to go somewhere. I don't know what they do with theirs per se. They might have landfills there, but I do know that in this game... We are going to export that trash to our main town, which is then going to go to our Trashton establishment. And that is going to produce our main town a crap ton of cash. So now I am going to industrialize. This is what I wanted to do with it. All of these zones here. And that way we have a great explosion of really really expensive jobs We've got a lot of of houses popping up all over the place and just so you know in order to make this work you don't necessarily need a lot of industrial zones but you do need a lot of parks and I do mean a lot I mean it may seem excessive what I'm doing here but this is like on target with the amount of parks that you need to make this happen I mean it's just ridiculous but you'll see, I won't get one dirty industry, not a single one, because having all these parks here just takes the land value and puts it through the roof, and we want to make sure that our... See how good the environment is? It's great. Now, all these are going down because I haven't run the timer yet, but, uh, yeah, when I do, it's going to be fantastic. I'm excited. Can I fit one more? No. I'm going to have to go with the tennis courts. No problem there. Put another one. That's nice. And then over here, a nice healthy commercial district. But I need—I have one little square that's gonna get a cathedral. Sweet.
Sweet. So over here, I'm going to build more roads. <coughs> I'm going to make the uh, four by whatever for the commercial offices, and there is going to be offices. You betcha. And then I'm going to build uh, two wide here for the parks, and then I'll go three wide for the other part of the industrial district. And right away, you're going to see, I mean, I'm spending almost three grand. It's going to be well over three grand when I get in the middle of all these parks, but I can tell you right now, this is it's going to be crazy. So you got a high-density commercial, and this should fill the block, and it does. Look at all of that. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. <laughs> There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I've seen, uh, when I was in North Carolina actually on vacation, I actually saw this. Down there the roads actually are really long like this and there's just shops and houses everywhere. Now to get the house orientation like it is in that area, you, uh, you have to play something like Cities XL because you can make all kinds of weird road systems, which I'm sure is going to be in the new SimCity next year. I'm almost willing to bet that it will be, but uh, yeah, we, in order to get that effect, we'd actually have to play something like Cities XL, which is a really awesome SimCity clone, but let's face it, if you're a fan of this like I am, nothing compares to the SimCity that is developed directly from Maxis. Yeah, Tilted Mill did uh, okay with societies, but it wasn't the same. It just wasn't Sim City. It was a simulated city. Ah, crap. How did that happen? I didn't know you could go over roads like that. Huh. Yes, Sim City Societies was a simulator, but it wasn't Sim City. You know, there was no house building. You just had all the buildings and you just plopped them down. You know, I feel like I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon or some crap like that. It just wasn't the same. So. <clears throat> doing it this way it's just better and I already know I'm gonna have to build another fire station out here see what I tell you I'm well over three grand I might even hit four grand before all said and done who knows but uh, we're almost out of time so let's see here let's uh, go ahead and fill all this up and I am gonna put more fire coverage oh wait you know what that that does kinda cover it but no, I want to make sure, because we also might as well enact the, uh, let's see, business deal. Oop, not business deals. I want ordinances. Smoke detector, which is currently zero. We also want <coughs> the Clean Air Act. And, let's see, emission reductions. And there's another one I do that, that uh, helps pollution, air pollution, that is. Paper waste reduction, reduce the amount of garbage output. No, we definitely don't want that. <laughs> I do want to legalize gambling, though. Since it's an extra hundred bucks, why not? I've already spent a hundred grand on this city. I'm actually going to run out of houses. <clears throat> you watch. Next thing to do, water. <clears throat> Got to put down our water systems. We're going to need a couple of pumps for this. So I'll just kind of put these here. Three should do it for now. And I don't have. The, the pumps powered yet but I can tell you already I've done this so many times I know where the coverage is without actually seeing it happen so we'll be good on that it's actually gonna overlap which is fine with me and uh, before you know all said and done I'll have to just cover the entire map with this so that it's done and out of the way and a couple of water treatment plants which I don't think treat enough water but what are you gonna do and now for the power Let's get some Earl plants in here. I'm gonna have to throw these, put them over here. Why not? Two of them should be fine for now. So everything's powered. Unfortunately, we're out of time. So in the next episode, I will turn on the clock to high speed and we'll watch the magic happen. So y'all stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah.